We wrapped up last week's devotional videos by beginning to look at a particular question. Who gets into the kingdom? In that video, I made this statement. Access to the kingdom of heaven is not exclusive, but citizenship in the kingdom of heaven has specific requirements. It's, it's a contrast that many struggle with. As we saw in the case of the centurion who expressed faith that Jesus could heal his servant, the kingdom of heaven is for those with faith. Faith is essential to citizenship in the kingdom. There were, in Jesus' own time, plenty of people who had the right bloodline who had no faith. For them, citizenship in the kingdom was not assured. They would be, as Jesus said, in the outer darkness, away from the table of the king. The gospel according to John approaches this question by recounting a time when a Pharisee named Nicodemus came to Jesus. Now, he acknowledged that Jesus had to be from God because the signs he was performing, healings and and casting out demons, could only be done if God was with Jesus. It's not a question, really, but there is an underlying question that Jesus discerns from the conversation he has with Nicodemus. What Nicodemus wants to know about is the kingdom of God, and this is what Jesus says to him. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And then Nicodemus asks him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Now, John's gospel in general is very concerned with birth, who one's father is, and heritage, but not in the way that many first century Jews might have been concerned about those questions. In chapter 1, we're told that those who receive the word, Jesus, would be given the right to become children of God, born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. It's in the beginning of the book, alongside the very bold claim of Jesus' divinity and eternal nature, because these themes are essential to our understanding of the entire message of the gospel. See, we all were born into this world. I mean, every one of us. If if you weren't, then you're not watching this video right now. Our birth was the direct result of someone's will. Their flesh, through natural means, brought about conception and birth. If you're here today, you were born of the will of someone. Maybe you were a surprise or or unexpected, but the activity that led to your conception was the choice of someone. In being born of the flesh, you were born with a broken heritage, though, a, a heritage that had chosen to deny itself and its offspring access to the kingdom. They exchanged the kingdom for a fruit that they thought would give them more than the kingdom. And in that exchange, they lost far more than they could ever have imagined. And they passed that loss onto every subsequent generation. They broke it, and and we all accepted that inheritance by our choice to essentially eat the same fruit. Now, Jesus tells Nicodemus this, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The the wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Jesus is explaining to Nicodemus that the first birth we receive, the one that comes from the flesh, can only take us where the flesh takes us. It can never get us more than the heritage of humanity. But there is another birth, a birth by the Spirit of God, and the Spirit has access to the heritage of the kingdom. This is the birth that God offers us. It's it's what allows us to claim a place in his kingdom, to be a child of God, a true child of God. You must access this second birth. Tomorrow, we'll look a little more at that second birth as it appears throughout the New Testament. But for today, I just want to say this. I love you, and I pray that you might find some time today to spend with the Father 
whose will is to invite you into his kingdom and to sit at his table.